Hello and welcome everyone. In this video we are going to see and analyze this game between Nikita Vidyugov and Pentala Hari Krishna. It was played only some hours ago in the uh, Prague Chess Festival and I saw it and I thought it was a really good and interesting game and that's why I decided to make this video. Let's see the game. Vidyugov played e4, Hare Krishna played e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, Rui Lopez, knight f6, trying to get into Berlin defense, white castles, knight takes e4, d4, knight d6, and in this moment on Vidyugov played d takes e5, you should know that the main line here goes with bishop takes, d takes, d takes here, knight f5, queen takes queen, king takes queen. And um, this is a very popular and very deeply analyzed endgame. It was played between uh, Kasparov and Kraknik in a world championship. And um, actually, Black got some good results in that tournament so it's a very interesting line and usually in the elite white tries to avoid this kind of endgames so in this game Birigov just played d takes e5 knight takes b5 it seems like white is losing a piece but it's not like that because white can't play a4 knight d4, knight takes, knight takes all this is very theoretical there are many masters games with this line queen takes d4 and d5 in, and in this position the main move should be e takes d5 is the most popular but in this game Nikita just played queen d3 it's something a little different but also interesting the queen is not very well placed here on d4 because black could play c5 at any point. Also the queen on d3 is protecting uh, light squares. It's interesting because uh, white doesn't have a light squares bishop. White only has dark squares bishop. So that's another idea. By the way, try to remember that if you have only one bishop then your queen will look better and will be helpful to to be controlling the other squares of the other bishop you don't have. Uh, also another idea with this move is to protect this advance f4 and f5 is another idea. So the move is interesting, this queen d3. Um, black played c6 and white played e5. Takes some space in the queen side. Bishop e6, knight c3, developing. Queen d7, improving the queen, keeping the possibility to castle queen side in some point. And knight e2 here. Hare Krishna played bishop f5, and Vidyugov played queen c3 here. In this moment, Black played bishop e7, and here Nikita begins uh, to play in a very aggressive way. He finds a very interesting move here. Maybe you would like to try to find it. The move he played in this moment was bishop h6. The idea is that if pawn takes bishop, then white can play e6, clearing the line here, this diagonal, and it's going to take the rook. That's why in this moment, Pentala just played d4 in order to try to block the diagonal. White took the pawn, then black took the bishop, but now white can play e6. He's threatening the queen, also taking the bishop, so it seems like the bishop has to take and knight takes bishop and the rook is still hanging here on h8 
the rook goes to g8, the knight goes to f4, the queen goes to f5, threatening the knight, and the rook goes to a4. And this is a good moment to make a pause and try to evaluate uh, the position we have on the board right now. Mm, the material is equal, black has some small problems here in the king side with the pawn structure, uh, but there is something very important here. Uh, black king is in the center, but it's not only in the center right now. The problem is that there's not a good way for black to put uh, the king in safety. I mean, if black castles queen side, then white can play a6 at any point, destroying this structure, and the king will be very weak there, in that side. And, of course, the king cannot go to the king side, this is completely open here, and also in the center, there are some open lines, and the king is not safe there. So, the problem is not how unsafe is black king right now, the problem is how unsafe this king is going to be in the future. I mean, there's no way, there's not a clear way to solve this situation for black. That's the problem, and that's why this position is better for white. Queen f6, trying to exchange queens, of course, if you feel your king is not safe, that there could be some attack against your king, well, it's a good idea to try to exchange queens. Of course, Nikita didn't exchange and just played queen d3, controlling the open line, also pointing here, h7, rook d8, queen takes pawn, rook g7, and queen e4. Is threatening knight h5, so queen takes b2, taking back the pawn, but now rook e1 is very strong, rook d7 protecting the bishop, and a6, destroying the queen side. Rook g5, h4, rook b5, a takes b, and queen takes c6. Now white has an extra pawn, and black king keeps unsafe in the center. King f8 is the move uh, Pentala played here, also after a move as rook b c7, threatening the queen, and maybe also trying to get something over here. White could play rook takes bishop, and after king takes rook, then knight d5. This is very good for white. King d8, knight takes, rook takes, queen d6, and this is winning, king c8, queen f8. This is win winning for for white. They have a queen and a rook, and the king is uh, unprotected, running over the board, and they are taking pawns, attacking the king. Um, this is a winning position for white here. That's why rook b c7 doesn't work in this position. So he just played king f8, trying to go to a side, but now queen takes pawn check. Um, in the game, Hardy Krishna played queen g7, but you should know that after king g8, uh, white could play something like knight d5, clearing the way for this rook, and this is going to be winning for them. So he just played here queen g7, and here Nikita plays a very fancy move just to finish the game. Maybe you would like to find the move he played on this position. You may pause the video. Um, the move white played here was knight e6. And in this moment, Hardy Krishna decided to resign. The problem is that after Pawn takes knight, rook f4, and here black can play king g8 or maybe bishop f6. Those are the options. 
after king g8, then well, queen takes pawn. King h8 is the only move because if king h7, then rook f7. So king h8, and then there are some strong moves for white. I think this one looks good, rook e5, and this is winning for them. So that line doesn't work, and also after a move like bishop f6, well, then white can just take the bishop, black has to play rook f7, rook takes rook, rook takes rook is the only move, because if king takes, if king takes rook, then queen takes pawn, and queen e8, checkmate in two moves. So rook takes rook, and then queen takes e6. And well, this is completely winning. White has three pawns up here. The king is in problems, so this position would be uh, completely lost for Black. So in this moment, as I said, uh, Harry Krishna decided to resign. So this is the game I wanted to show you. I really liked the way uh, Bitugov uh, took the initiative. Um, begun creating problems for black and didn't stop until he finished with this beautiful idea of knight e6 so i hope you have enjoyed this um if you think this was more or less good give me some like over there and um, also feel free to comment share and subscribe and uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon in some other video.